the customer never made it home. So we got a call for a truck that is clear out in the west desert, out west of like Gunlock Reservoir, north of Matakwa. They've got some kind of tire trouble. They're on a pretty rough trail, so we're gonna head out there and see if we can get them, get their problems taken care of and get them on their way. We got Lizzie with us today. Yep, it's just me and Matt going out this time, so we're gonna get them out. It's 105 degrees. Hopefully it cools down as the time goes on, but I guess we'll have to see. We'll be up in the mountains just a little bit. Yeah. I know that it's regional. Some places won't eat ketchup on their hot dogs. They like mustard, but around here, it's ketchup. So we don't have a pin, all we have is directions. Take the Gunlock Road, turn left on the Matakwa Road, turn right on the Beaver Dam Road, then turn right on the Slaughter Creek Road and drive till we find him. your 20. I've got a flat tire out by Matakwa, like a shredded tire. It's going to take some air to pump this up. Okay. I will get that. We're not quite to Matakwa. I'll send you a pen. Yeah, send me a pen. And I'll send you a list of what I need. Okay, thanks. Well, this is unfortunate and embarrassing. I got a call from my dad and they are stuck somewhere north of St. George. They were going to do a tire change and they got a flat tire. And the only spare we have is not mounted and it's right there. We haven't even helped the guy. We have a flat tire and now we have to wait like an hour for Rudy to get out here. So we're just gonna be chilling. At least we have service to do some stuff. This is heat failure right here, the tire separates, and it's from under inflation. So you can do it with under inflation and load, but it's in, it was inflated the same as all the rest of the tires. So something happened to make this one too low. Pretty sure I'm gonna get lit up in the comments, <laughs> but this is the second tire failure I've had in 10 years on the job. We have a major tire failure. So, I'm playing those odds. On the upside, it's gonna go really fast as soon as Rudy gets here and he's in route. So we've got nothing to do until he gets here. Overall, it's a beautiful afternoon. Mm. I play tic-tac-toe like I play chess without a timer. <laughs> I'm gonna let you go first. You know, whatever, it's nice. A whole 90 degrees still. Problem with tic-tac-toe is if two people know how to play it, no one wins. It's a pretty good evening for a Tuesday night. Yep, my phone's saying nine more miles. Looks like an overlander. <laughs> Triple A's not gonna cover this. <laughs> Go to Matakwa, turn right on Beaver Dam Road, and then turn right on Slaughter Creek Road. But there was a road back there, it wasn't Slaughter Creek, it was something else. This is Slaughter Creek, 
he says he turned right on Slaughter Creek, but to get on Slaughter Creek, there was no right turn. What if he was up that next bend there? He says he went to Matakwa and turned right on Beaver Dam Road. My mapping systems called it Beaver Dam Road, but Lizzie's doesn't name this road. My map says we're not on a road. What's the name of this road? Matakwa Road, Indian Springs Trail. So, it says Slaughter Creek's up there. Middle Ridge Enclosure. I'm thinking he's up here. All right, so we finally got a hold of the customer through OnStar, and OnStar was willing to give us GPS coordinates, so that's good. So we've got those now, and we are way off. So there's no way that he came in through Slaughter Creek. The problem with a lot of these areas is different people, especially from different generations, have different names for different areas. So we're just following using maps and signage. But anyway, we have a GPS lock and we are headed in on it right now. Right, Lizzie? Trying to. That's confidence right there, folks. We're still lost, have no clue where we are, but we know where he's at. So we're trying to pick our way through these roads that ended up on the side of a cliff. Don't know how far of a drop it is. And the road is very windy and up and downy. And it's making me car sick looking at my phone. <laughs> So up on the hill, up just that way, that away, we saw some lights. I think we have found the stranded customer. We found you. Bless you. Yeah, yeah, bless you. There's your flat tire. So we have got to get some of the equipment out of here to let your spare tire down. I bet you're not behind the back seat. Oh, look at the size of that thing. That's my hand. So this is the way it came in. So far north of. I know, I was wondering if we want to go out a different way. Well, we're going to try to find the most direct route out of here, fastest to a fuel station. Alrighty, so I'm. Looking pretty low on fuel, so I'm leading out. Rudy's in trouble on fuel, so he should probably put a bigger gas tank in his Jeep. Or he could have just filled up before we left. My fuel light officially came on, and we're still on dirt, and I don't exactly know how far the nearest gas station is, so I might be getting pulled into town by the Morvair. We're trying to find the shortest way to a gas station. Yeah. So I don't want to pull him in. It would be humiliating to be pulled in by the Morvair because Rudy was out of gas. That's my job. <laughs> it looks like we made it into Vail. I'm gonna try and find a gas station that's open. We made it to Vail, we got fuel, and we are on our way home. So, we got a call from the customer's family this morning. The customer never made it home. So we are headed back out there. We're trying to get OnStar to help us, and that's what's going on. It's a four-wheel four drive. We came up last night and changed the tire for them, yeah. and they were supposed to be coming out this way, but they never came home. Their, okay. their truck's not pinging anymore, is it? Did they ever get a hold of you? All right, okay, we're gonna go look. Okay, all right, good luck. So one of the problems we're running into is different people have different names for these roads out here so this road right here on Google is called Beaver Dam Wash Road and it makes sense because we're driving right next to Beaver Dam Wash but it's tricky because the customer is using names that's different than Google uses and we just talked to a gentleman that lives here and even though these some of these roads have signage that gives their name He's calling them a different name than what the signage says. So, that's exciting. 
So we are retracing our steps here. Looks a lot different in the daytime. We're kind of watching to see if there's anywhere where it looks like a, a truck could have gone off the road. I'm just hoping they're not in any kind of trouble. Best case scenario would be they got another flat tire and they're just stopped somewhere. So that's what we're hoping for. But I hope they're not lost. And obviously anything worse than that, I'm hoping that that's not the case. So we've got a family member of the customer behind us. Hopefully he can help us decide what may the decisions that the customer may have made coming out last night so this is the fork that we were at when we got the gps coordinates from you and that's when we're like holy smokes he's 30 miles that way there's been nobody on this road there hasn't been anybody on this road since us All right, so we found the customer. His truck is up this road. We're gonna go, it's stuck, we're gonna go get it. Oh my gosh, that's a real easy. Am I glad to see him? <laughs> we didn't have the cameras out, but holy smokes. Well, he's had a rough night. Oh yeah. Yep, he tried to turn around. Oh my gosh, holy smoke. Go hop in it. Yeah. How are you doing? You need any water? Okay. Hello. Hello. Had to get you some food. Well, oh. you got a water, but here's. But, a thank you, thank you, thank you. But there's. A, you want this colder water? Are you okay? So I'm fine right here. Okay. Did you give some to my buddy up on top? What's that? Did you give some water to Blaine up there? Yep. Perfect. Got him, got him some water. Lifesavers. When you guys left us last night, he took this wrong turn up this road instead of that one. Uh, without even realizing nothing. By the time we got up to here, we were stuck. Yeah. Um, I need you to give it just a little bit of reverse and turn the wheel all the way to the right. Okay, see if it'll come out of four wheel drive. Set the park brake. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. All right, we're headed out of here. That's cool, news. <laughs> we got Lizzie back there driving the Morver, and we are. Up the trail. Yeah, we're on the cow trail. Yeah, we're on a cow trail. <laughs> this is a pretty big truck to be snaking through here, but I think we'll get it. You can do it. Yeah. Greg dropped off and now we've just got Blaine. Next stop is our yard and then I'll tell you everything that you need to know. Blaine. Yes. It was good to meet you. Yeah, thank you. And I'm glad this worked out. I yeah, feel right. bad we didn't get the problem completely solved last night. Well, that wasn't your fault. That was my fault, but I couldn't see in the dark. Yeah. They don't want to get old. <laughs> so really quickly, I'm just going to recap on this job. So the call came in as a tire change and we went out there to do that, but I got a flat tire on the way, which made me do an emergency call to Rudy, 
who wasn't fueled up, but he decided to tag along anyway. We drove around quite a bit burning fuel looking because we had bad directions. We finally got the GPS and then we found them, got the tire changed, but by that time Rudy's fuel light was blinking off and on and we were still 45 minutes to an hour away from a gas station. I had to make a decision uh, whether to send Rudy out into the dark towards Veo or make sure the customer made it out. But the customer was giving me signals that they were very confident they could get out. They knew the roads, they knew the systems, but they'd never been out there after dark. And that's what made it difficult for them to find their way out. So when we got, I mean, my heart just sank this morning when I found out they didn't make it out. And I was so nervous and I was so happy when we found them. <laughs> I think I was happier than they were, and they were pretty happy. <laughs> I know. So, mm. anyway, that's that. Thanks for watching.